tonight on The Big Idea. Angel investors, the mystery investors with deep, deep pockets in the shadows of startup companies. They spend big time and rule the world of business. Tonight, how to find them and how to get an angel investor to back your big idea. Welcome to The Big Idea. I'm Donnie Deutsch. Tonight, calling in the Archangel. We've got a full hour dedicated to the lifeblood of new business, the angel investors. If you ever want to start a new company or want to roll the dice on someone else's company, or even if you just want to know about one of the most important and least talked about parts of business, then this is the show to watch. And it all starts with two things, money and a big idea. The company, Proximities, the big idea. Proximities makes an electronic wristband that's perfect for theme parks and their customers. The Go wristband, as it's called, takes the place of a paper ticket and paper money. Customers can swipe it at turnstiles, restaurants, or lockers. It can be loaded with money or linked to a credit card, and it tells a vendor if a customer is old enough to buy alcohol. What's next? The Go product line is already installed at about a dozen sites, including amusement parks, water parks, amphitheaters, and nightclubs. And next year, Proximities will roll out its product in all palace water parks nationwide. Okay, let's bring in now the founder of Proximities, Josh Gervin. How you doing, man? Good. So I, this is a great story because this is the essence of angel investing. And it, it, you know, it, it seems like a very sophisticated term, but basically, rugby coach... College player in uh, Princeton, you have this idea. Give me how you pitch this guy the idea. Well, I mean, give, take me into that restaurant. You got a little napkin on the table. You got this new idea. Let, let's go to that meeting. Uh, well, I uh, started out by just explaining the general concept of what we were trying to do, which is to bring RFID into the leisure and entertainment industry to try and bring some efficiencies to streamline the business operations uh, because it seems to be the leisure entertainment industry is one of the last places where you're starting to see some of these uh, sophisticated technologies. So basically this is an armband I put on, where I put a certain amount of money into it, I can go through the park to show my armband, so it takes all waiting out, it increases, re increases revenues for parks. How much, at this point, you go, wow, great idea, I want to invest in it. <clears throat> But give me the math of how an angel invested. You threw 150 grand into this at that point. The first round, I think it was 150, right, Josh? So, how did you know that was the number? How did you? What did you give away for that number? Without getting into anything you don't want to get into, how do you kind of at that point understand what you're getting for your bucks and vice versa? How do you not, you're not giving away too much? Well, I think that's a negotiation that happens uh, between the company and the angel investors. And, and I think uh, you know, one of the ways that you uh, establish a fair market value is that you have multiple people who are interested in investing. Uh, if, you're, if you're working with just one person, then, you know, then it is much more difficult to establish what that fair market was value is. Was this anything more than an idea at this point? Did you have the technology? What, what exactly did you have at that point when you brought in the angel investor? Uh, well, one of the things that we did have was a unique uh, wristband design. You can see here. Uh, the, what's unique and patented about our product is that actually when you remove this wristband, it electrically disables the RFID. So you circuit. had the product already. So you see this. How do you then as an investor, you say, okay, the critique you get, the, the uh, formula you gave me before is smart management, seems like obviously Princeton kid, smart kid, simple product, clearly can explain this to 10th graders. You want to get your money out. How do you then get to 150 grand? What do you get for that? It's a, again, it's a balance, and Josh alluded to that. It's trying to balance between how much money they need, how much money you want to give to the project, and also with a very early stage company like that, you have to have some sort of longer term play. You don't want to just pitch your money in at the very beginning and just hopefully five years later see it back out again. We had to see a path to, okay, that 150000 is going to get us to here. At that point, if they've been successful, we can look at reinvesting in that company and so on and so forth. It's not just a kind of punt and run, as it were. It's just you put it in, you see certain things that you want to have achieved for that amount. In terms of valuation, that's just a, you know, that's plucking apples from a bucket. I mean, we just sit down and say, we think it's worth X. They come back and say, we think it's worth Y. And we come to a point where they're happy. So let's, where is it now? Where's the company now? The company, uh, we're based in Melbourne, Florida. We have taken on a, a significant uh, Series A financing round. And uh, we have now lined up some uh, significant customers in the leisure entertainment industry. Okay, so you're, you're happy with your kind of, this was your first play into it, left a very, very good taste in your mouth. When we come back, we're going to take it to the next level of angel investing. Basically, you were the network. You got together with 20 other angel investors. You guys all have to kick in at least 50 grand a year. You find the right investments. We're going to bring that next level of investee out, talk about his business. Once again, it's angel investing night. If you got a few bucks, 
bucks. You're looking to invest. We're going to show you how to do that. If you've got a great idea, there's a lot of angel investment money out there. We're selling ideas and money, putting them together. Don't go anywhere.